the first half of 2015 is behind us, and we've certainly been graced with a number of excellent titles. One genre in particular that seems to be having a resurgence in a big way is the JRPG. We've already received a number of solid titles thus far, and it seems like every major JRPG franchise has an upcoming title scheduled for a home console release. While the likes of Final Fantasy XV, Dragon Quest XI, and the Final Fantasy VII Remake loom in the horizon, I wanted to take a look at 2015's JRPG offerings. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to consider Dungeon Crawlers their own thing, and won't be including them on this list. Sorry Dungeon Travelers too. So here are 11 JRPGs you'll be able to get your hands on in 2015, and one extra we're all keeping our fingers crossed for. Kicking off this slate of games is Level 5's action RPG Little Battlers Experience. In LBX, you take the role of Vaughn Yamano in his journey to become a top LBX battler. LBX are palm-sized remote-controlled robots that are used to battle against one another both casually and competitively. LBX's most alluring feature is its deep customization system. Boasting tens of thousands of combinations, players will be able to customize their LBX in just about any way they want. You can play through the game's story mode or battle with up to six players in online multiplayer. With a wealth of content and that signature level 5 charm, LBX is certainly a title to keep your eye on. Nippon Ichi's flagship Disgaea franchise makes its PS4 debut this fall with Disgaea 5 Alliance of Vengeance. The series is known for its wacky tone, deep strategy RPG gameplay, and endless avenues for grinding. While Disgaea 5 certainly adds a number of new features, this entry should seem immediately familiar to longtime fans. As far as the story goes, the evil Emperor Dark Void has been destroying numerous netherworlds thanks to his 1 million strong army known as the Lost. You assume the role of the demon Kilia as him and his ragtag group vow revenge against Dark Void. A slew of new features include sharper visuals, new team-up attacks, new classes like the Dark Knight and Maid, as well as having up to 100 characters on the screen at once. If you're looking for something a little more tongue-in-cheek with your JRPG, then Disgaea 5 might just be the game for you. The Dragon Quest series hasn't been particularly kind to the West in recent years. After 2010's Dragon Quest IX on the DS, the rest of the world has pretty much been ignored. With two 3DS entries not making it over yet and seemingly no prayer of the MMO coming over, it seemed like all hope had been lost. That is, until Square Enix announced that it would be bringing over its smash hit action RPG, Dragon Quest Heroes. On paper, this game looks like your typical Dynasty Warriors game with a Dragon Quest coat of paint. However, there's more to this title than what it might seem. Dragon Quest Heroes boasts two brand new protagonists to choose from. As the game progresses, you'll have familiar Dragon Quest characters join your party that will level up and unlock new skills in typical RPG fashion. Unlike Dynasty Warriors games, however, You'll be able to form a party of up to four characters that you'll be able to swap between on the fly mid-battle. There's also unique environmental actions and absolutely massive enemies. It's been nearly 10 years since the last home console Dragon Quest game in the West, and while we'll have to wait a little bit longer to get our hands on Dragon Quest XI, Dragon Quest Heroes looks like an exciting game to whet our appetite. Legend of Legacy may not have the most creative name for a video game title, but don't let that fool you. Legend of Legacy's staff is comprised of former Square Enix and Level 5 members and is being brought to the West by way of Atlas. The game is meant to be a spiritual successor of Square's Saga series and clearly takes inspiration from the golden age of JRPGs. When players begin the game, they'll be given a choice between seven different playable characters and a vague main goal. While most typical JRPGs are quite linear, Legend of Legacy allows players to explore at their own pace and discover how to progress on their own. The game also takes cues from Bravely Default's chibi art style, as well as Bastion in the way the environment appears. The title may not be very thoughtful, but Legend of Legacy certainly looks the part and one you shouldn't sleep on. The Tales series has been the most consistent JRPG franchise in the West in terms of both quality and frequency of releases. For the first time in the series, a brand new title will debut on both PS4 and PC, a treatment that not even Japan is getting. Tales of Hysteria puts players in the role of Sorei, a human who strives to bring peace to the land and calm the threat of the Hellion. One of Zysteria's biggest improvements over previous entries is open-world gameplay. Players will be able to enjoy open environments to explore, as well as seamless transitions to battles. The Tales series' signature action combat is back with the added fusion feature. During combat, you'll be able to fuse with other party members to perform devastating attacks. Zysteria did have some reported problems such as pop-in for bigger areas, and a clunky camera in smaller ones. Hopefully these issues have been alleviated thanks to stronger hardware. A few hiccups aside, Tales of Hysteria is certainly primed to be the premier JRPG this fall. The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel is the first entry in a brand new duology for the Legend of Heroes series. Despite the fact that we have been waiting over four years for a sequel to Trails in the Sky, that hasn't stopped Exceed from working on the next two entries. Trails of Cold Steel retains familiar JRPG trappings, but also has been modernized with full 3D models, a 360 degree camera, and voiced characters. 
The story centers around members of the newly formed Class 7, a specialized group of the Thor's military academy comprised of both nobles and normal everyday citizens. Falcom has a rich history of telling strong stories, and if Trails in the Sky is anything to go off of, then Cold Steel should be a real treat. It may not be the best looking game of the year, but with solid gameplay mechanics and an interesting story, Trails of Cold Steel should satisfy just about every JRPG enthusiast. Fans of the Luminous Arc series should be right at home with another one of Atlas's 3DS offerings, Stella Glow. Players will be tasked with recruiting witches across the land to stop the evil witch of destruction, Hilda. Sporting a chibi anime art style, most gameplay takes place in isometric strategy battles. There's also free time segments in which players will be able to interact with other characters. Similar to Persona's social link system, the more you interact with certain characters, the more those characters can aid you in battle. Unfortunately for developer Image Epoch, Stella Glow will serve as a bit of a swan song title in the West as the studio filed for bankruptcy earlier this year. If you're a fan of these types of games or the studio that created them, then this might be your last chance to enjoy their work. Bandai Namco seemingly has the market cornered when it comes to anime games, and found a surprise hit last year with Sword Art Online Halo Fragment for PS Vita. With a brand new story taking place in the fairy-inspired Alfheim Online world, Western fans can look forward to the all-new Sword Art Online Lost Song this year, both digitally and at retail. Lost Song retains Halo Fragment's MMO-inspired gameplay, but brings a slew of new features for the first time to the series. Although the story progresses with Kirito, players can now create their own characters and have a party of up to three when exploring floors. Players will also be able to fly to stay within the Alfheim Online world theme, as well as play with up to three other friends in online multiplayer. As a special bonus, if you pre-order the Lost Song for PS4 on the PlayStation Store, you'll receive an enhanced digital copy of Hollow Fragment for PS4 for free. If you're a fan of the series or simply love deep RPGs, Lost Song should keep you busy for quite a while. Xenoblade Chronicles X is just what the doctor ordered for a system starved of media experiences. You play as a survivor of a spaceship crash on an alien world. This planet serves as a new home for the human race, as Earth became collateral damage in an interstellar war. As you progress through the game, you'll explore massive environments. Most open world games are big just for the sake of being big, but Xenoblade Chronicles X looks to be doing it right with tons to explore and massive enemies to fight. Also, did I mention giant robots? Because yeah, there's giant robots, and they look awesome. These giant robots called Skells will not only serve as a means to traverse the world, but also for combat. With Nintendo's NX looming on the horizon, the Wii U doesn't have too many more worthwhile titles left in the tank. With insane dollar to hour value and rad giant robots, Xenoblade Chronicles X looks to be a game every Wii U owner should pick up. Return to Popolo Kreuz, a story of seasons fairy tale sure is a mouthful, but fans of the Rune Factory series should feel right at home. The gameplay is a mixture of both traditional turn-based JRPGs and farming sims like Harvest Moon. The story has a rather light-hearted tone and one that old fans or newcomers will be able to enjoy. The Polo Craze also has quite the charming art style, one some might expect from the likes of Level 5. The animated cutscenes in particular look top-notch and can't help but draw comparison to the Professor Layton series. The Polo Craze might get lost in the JRPG shuffle this fall, but it has all the right ingredients to be a true gem. The Yokai Watch series is an absolutely massive sensation in Japan and will finally be making its way to the West for the first time. The gameplay is very akin to Nintendo's Pokemon series as you collect a number of ghostly creatures called Yokai. You'll play as Nate Adams, and with your newly found yokai pals, you'll explore a Japanese suburb to assist residents with their problems, as well as ward off ill intentioned yokai. There's also a variety of side activities you can partake in, such as fishing and catching bugs. That signature level 5 art style is in full swing, ready to charm players of all ages. Yokai Watch also has a huge swath of cross media products that will be making its way over to the West, such as toys and an animated series. Whether Yokai Watch will have the same effect in the West as it did in Japan remains to be seen, but the rest of the world will finally be able to see what all the fuss is about later this fall. Despite all the evidence to the contrary, Atlas USA insists their highly anticipated sequel Persona 5 will see a release before 2015 draws to a close. Although we've only seen scant bits of gameplay footage, Persona 5 looks to be upping the ante in every way. Dungeons appear to be much more elaborate than previous entries with more open designs and the added elements of platforming and stealth. Non-dungeon areas such as train stations and shopping centers look to be more full and alive than ever. The visuals have also received a nice facelift to look more in line with Atlas's puzzle title, Catherine. Animations look absolutely incredible, but the menus in particular are a real standout treat. The Persona series has built a strong following in the West the last several years thanks to the Vita re-release of Persona 4, an animated series, and a handful of spin-off titles. After small teases and numerous delays, the demand for Persona 5 is at a fever pitch. Atlas has a huge opportunity to make this a breakout hit, and we can only hope they deliver the goods before the year's end. 
That's going to do it for the JRPGs of 2015. Let me know in the comments below which sound interesting to you and which you plan on picking up. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. What's up, guys? I hope you really enjoyed that video. It was a lot of fun to put together. There's a lot of cool JRPGs coming out this year, so I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I do have some really big news that I'm really excited to share about with you guys. Um, so first of all, you know, I've been working on this channel for almost four and a half years. It's been a really fun hobby to do like on the side and it's afforded me some cool opportunities to like go to E3 and meet awesome developers, just some really cool experiences and make cool shows for you guys and also just meet a lot of amazing people in real life and just talking to you through the comments or on Twitter or Facebook. It's been an incredible journey. However, recently, uh, after I put that Final Fantasy 15 video up, I I've kind of been dwelling on that and it's really ignited a passion in me to take this a little bit more seriously and take it to the next level. Um, so I wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to be launching a Patreon page to hopefully bring the quality of the show up and hopefully I can do more with it and more shows and get videos out faster to you guys. I love doing those feature length type videos like I did with the Final Fantasy 15 one and uh, with your support, I think I can get those done faster, more often, and then hopefully just way more shows. I also want to stress for anybody that doesn't feel like donating or they can't afford to, don't even worry about it. I appreciate you guys just watching this show, um, but you know the videos will continue to be free on YouTube. In fact, there's probably just going to be more stuff, so uh, definitely look forward to that. But please, at least go check out the Patreon page. Check out kind of the, the rewards I'm offering, some of the milestones, some of the cool stuff I've got planned for the future if I can hit a couple of tiers um, that I've set up. You know, it's been just an incredible journey and I really hope that through this Patreon campaign you guys support that I can take the gaming shelf to the next level and get some new shows and some uh, different kind of content out there if we can hit some of the milestones. So um, anyways guys, I really appreciate your support. Please check out the link in the description to uh, the Patreon page. Check out some of the rewards. I feel like I've really tried to make it worth every penny that you're putting towards that. So go check it out and uh, check out some of the cool milestones I've set up. Thank you for your consideration and your support and I really hope that you'll consider being one of my patrons. I will make sure it's worth absolutely every cent that you put down on there. Uh, thanks again, guys, appreciate you watching and see you on the next video.